welcome to our 60 minute total body and core boot camp. Today, you just need a pair of dumbbells. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to receive all of our notifications. We're getting started with our warm up Heismans. So, today is a combination of total body movements, strength training, cardio training, and lots of core. 60 total minutes, very efficient workout, all you need to really burn some calories, reduce your body fat content, and increase your lean muscle mass. Jumping jacks. In this warm up, we have four exercises. We'll be doing two sets timed, then a two set challenge. to your glutes. And getting down, plank skiers, hands directly below your shoulders, Bring your knees out outside of your elbows and back to plank, out to the side. And time standing back up, Heisman's. Jumping jacks. two set challenge, 20 repetitions, all four exercises, 20 Heismans, 20 jumping jacks. Let's go. With you, I know I 10, Without us, I 20, 20 jumping jacks. Butt kicks. Ten. Twenty. Twenty plank skiers. 
One, two, three, four. You got the gist. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Now thirty of everything. Let's go. Fifteen. Thirty. Thirty jumping jacks. Fifteen. Thirty butt kicks. Fifteen. Thirty. Thirty plank skiers. some water. We're going into circuit one. So today we'll have a common theme. We're going to complete three sets of a circuit and then we'll return to it later and do a one set challenge. We're starting with a suitcase hold, dumbbells at your side, right leg forward, left leg behind. There's no counting. We just have a stationary lunge, pelvic tilt. Here we go. This is timed. Four exercises in circuit one. Get ready to switch. And woo, switch as I lose my balance slightly. Okay, taking your left leg in front, a little bit off to the side. Let's go. Next up, high knees. So put those dumbbells down. Yeah. We're just gonna bring those knees up a little bit beyond our pelvic bone. now for side crunches. So we're gonna be on our right elbow, on our right hip. We're gonna take our left hand behind our head and bring both knees up off the ground, bringing our elbow kind of right behind our left kneecap. We're gonna feel this in our obliques, a little bit in our lower back, kind of where that back fat area nestles. So we're targeting more of the side area of the abdomen region. This is an area that's really hard to target. If you feel like, wow, I just don't feel it, put one leg on the ground and then just lift and lower your left leg. We're gonna go to the other side in three, two, and one. So we're on our left side, left elbow, right hand behind the head. And again, you can just do one leg, leaving one on the ground. If you need more stability and you're really not feeling this in that side abdomen region. We're gonna start again with stationary lunges in five, four, three, two, one. Picking up those dumbbells, right leg in front, left leg behind, shoulders back, chest out. Don't forget that pelvic tilt. Let's go. legs, 
Left leg in front, right leg behind. You've got it. Almost there. And high knees. Bringing those knees up beyond the pelvic bone. Getting down, side crunches on your right elbow. Then your left elbow is going behind your left knee. And switch. Here we go. Last time. Last set timed. And the next time you see these exercises, it will be a one set challenge. Right leg in front, let's go. Switch your lead leg. Going to high knees. Let's go. Okay, side crunches. Last time. Other side, and then we are done with this circuit. And time. Get some water, towel off, do what you need to do. We're moving on to circuit two. We're gonna start with a single arm, bent over row, but we're gonna be holding both dumbbells, but only one will be rowing. So we're gonna have our left leg in front in a lunge position, left arm out in front, and just row with the right. Row with the right. And 
switch. Left leg in front, or sorry, right leg in front, left leg behind, left arm row. You're at about a 45 degree angle. And time, we have squat jumps. So arms out in front, sitting back into a squat. Come on up. Next up, we have sit-ups with a toe touch. So we're gonna have our knees up, feet firmly planted on the ground, hands either behind the head or across at the chest. Okay, sit up, touch the toes. So I try and sometimes cross my arms here because I'm trying to not use the momentum of my arms to help me swing up. If you think, you're not prone to using the momentum of your upper body and you're solely pulling up from your abs. Then of course, have your hands at your side. But if you feel like you might be cheating, cross and let's start again. Bent over row, right arm first, left leg forward in that lunge. Here we go. Okay, switch. So why do we have the dumbbell in both hands if we're only working one side? So right now, the right arm is not rowing, but my shoulder's being prone to going forward. And a lot of us have that prone position, rounded shoulders. Try and pull the shoulder back slightly. Just that slight resistance will help to improve your posture. And these are some of the changes that we're looking for. That resistance is key to helping you maintain good posture. And time, we're going to squat jumps. Arms out in front as you squat low, sit back into the squat, don't fall back. down for those sit-ups again. Feet firmly planted on the ground. Let's go. Whew, touch the toes. Thinking about whew, a string pulling from your lower abs, pulling you up. In two, in one, final set, timed. Right arm, rowing, lunge position.
chumps. and sit-ups. And time. Get some water, towel off as needed. We're doing a one set challenge of circuits one and two. So circuit three is a one set challenge. If you cannot do all the reps that we allocate, just do what you can. This is not about a competition with me. This is a competition with yourself, okay? So we're gonna do 25, I know, it's a one set challenge. 25 stationary lunges per leg followed by 100 high knees. Okay, one set, give it all you've got. Let's go. Five. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-five. Whew, that hurt. Twenty-five. Left leg forward and then one hundred high knees. That's five. Okay, 100 high knees, and then 10 crunches per side. Let's go. Twenty-five. One hundred, ten side crunches, and then we go into the challenge from circuit two. This is all within circuit three, so just keep going. Ten per side, and then we have ten, or sorry, not ten, twenty bent over rows per side. This is 10, I'm switching to the other side. Okay, then I'm going into 20 bend over rows on the right, 20 on the left. Okay, 
20 bent over rows per side. Again, all within circuit three, one set challenge. Let's go. Five. Switching sides. When you're done, 40 squat jumps. Five. Ten. Shoulder back. Remember that posture. You don't want rounded shoulders. Fifteen. Twenty. Forty squat jumps, and then twenty sit-ups with the toe touch, and then get some water. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Whew. Okay. Twenty sit-ups with the toe touch, and then get some water. Remember, you can also cross at your chest. But remember, when you sit all the way up, touch those toes. <sighs> this is 10, as soon as you're done, get some water. Get some water, towel off. We're moving into circuit four. So circuit four is a devil's press, and it's a devil with two renegade rows. I always suggest starting lighter with this one, just so that we make sure that our back isn't impacted and we have great form. So we're gonna start now, hinging at the hips, bringing those dumbbells up to the sky, then bring them out, Plank position, we row, row. No push up, feet jump to hands, hinge, swing. Whew. Row, row. Keep it going. So this, in circuit four, is one of three timed exercises, and we will be doing three sets together. Let's get one more in. Okay, next exercise. It's a personal favorite of mine, but I also don't exactly love it. It's a love-hate relationship. Reverse burpees. So we're gonna use our core to help us get up. We bring our feet over our head. If you need to, use your hands, help you stand up using your core to elevate up. Let's try it a little bit faster. Whew. You're gonna feel this in your lower abs and your upper abs. You can keep your feet really close together or a little bit farther apart. Obviously, more stability the farther apart they are, less stability the closer they are together. And time, last exercise. 
I hope you can have some heavier dumbbells for this one, tricep kickbacks. We don't want wiggly arms. So hinge at the hips, bringing those dumbbells back, elbows locked in place. Start with set two of three and five, four, three, two, and one. I am going to return to some lighter dumbbells, hinging at the hips, swinging up using my lower body, not my back, to complete that swing. Again, it might take you all three sets to figure out how to do this without pushing off with your hands. And a lot of this is about core strength. Actually, 90% of this is about core strength. circuit, devil's press, last time, let's go. Renegade row, renegade row. burpees. Okay. Tricep kickbacks, last time, and then get some water. And time, get some water. Towel off, whatever you need to do. We're gonna move on to circuit five. So circuit five has some great combination moves using upper and lower body and some good core work. So we're gonna start off with alternating reverse lunges and a hammer curl. So we reverse lunge right, hammer curl. 
left, hammer curl. If this isn't working for you, you can hammer curl when both legs are standing. Alternating curtsy squats with a press up. So we take that dumbbell in the middle, we squat, leg behind, curtsy, press it up in the middle. Bring it down, press it up in the middle. A little bit faster. Fifteen seconds, and then we have star crunches. And let's get down. Star crunches on your back. We're going to bring our opposite hand and our opposite toe together, rotating our torso, getting a nice cross section of the core. Really working the obliques. Whew. This is how once we reduced our body fat, we can see the muscle in the abdomen region. But just to be clear, core work alone will not reduce body fat. Your diet is key to reducing body fat. Overall, muscle increase. Whew will help to elevate your metabolism and also thereby reduce your body fat. Okay, starting again. Now, I'm gonna go a little heavier this set. I do have two sets of weights. I told you you only need one, but if you have two, a heavier and a lighter, switch around. Don't just stick with one just because you started with it. Reverse lunges with a hammer curl. Veering a little. One more each side. And, whew. Okay. Alternating curtsy squats with that press up. Curtsy behind. Time. Star crunches. Whew. That was not easy. One more set. Here we go. Last set. Timed circuit five. curtsy squats with that press up.
last but not least, start crunches, then we get some water. Here we go. And we're done. Get some water, towel off. It is time for a one set challenge of circuit four and circuit five. And again, if these numbers seem like a lot to you, take it down a notch or just go for as long as I'm doing that exercise. And if you can do more than me, by all means, do a couple more. We have 10 devil's press with a renegade row, 10 reverse burpees. Let's go. I'm gonna count down from 10. That's 10. I just completed eight. Counting down, by the way. Okay, 10 reverse burpees, 20 tricep kickbacks. And then we move on to the second part of this challenge. 10 reverse burpees. Eight to go. Six remaining. Two to go. Woo. And 20 tricep kickbacks. Once complete, 20 alternating reverse lunges with a hammer curl. Fifteen to go. Ten. Five. Whew. Twenty alternating reverse lunges with a hammer curl. I'm starting heavy. I might need to go light. We'll see how this goes. 20. 18. 16. 10. One. Okay. Twenty alternating crunches with a press up. Twenty star crunches, and then we're done with circuit six. Just need a second. Here we go. One. Eight. 
five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Okay. Twenty. Start crunching. Here we go. Five. on to circuit seven. Momentarily, we have snatches. Oh, way to go. Okay, we are gonna take a single dumbbell, right side only, snatches. So we drive it up, knees are bent, arms all the way elevated, pop it up. Again, drive it up, all the way up, and then pop it up. Switch arms, left arm. Okay, exercise three of four, star jumps. If you cannot do a star jump, star jack. And let's go. Woo. Final exercise. We're getting down in bear crawl position. So our hands are directly Underneath our shoulders, our knees are bent, but not touching the ground. So from the side, it looks like this. Plank shoulder pads. And time. Second set. Of three. Snatches. Okay, star jumps. Okay, let's go. Woo. Bear crawl, plank shoulder taps, knees hovering on the floor. 
We're not touching. more set and then we move on let's go Okay, switching arms. Time. Star jumps. Whew. Bear crawl, plank shoulder jabs. some water. Okay. We're done. We're moving to circuit eight. Clean and press ups. So we're gonna take our dumbbells. We're gonna hinge slightly. Clean, press up. Hinge, clean, press up. Hinge, clean, press up. Clean, press up. Your knees are gonna pop out as you press up. Four, three, two, and one. Lateral hops over a dumbbell. If you don't feel comfortable hopping over a dumbbell, then just hop over air. But try and imagine there's something there that you're jumping over. Okay, push-ups, chest down. So we're gonna take our chest to the ground, release our hands, come up. And then we do a one set challenge of everything and we're out of here. Whew. Hinge, clean, press up, you've got it. Dumbbell. Push ups, chest down. Here we go. Woo. 
one more time. And then we're not gonna take any sort of a break. We're gonna go right into circuit nine. Whew. Okay. This is gonna be so much fun. It's our last push, and then class is over. We haven't done the challenge yet. <sighs> okay. And lateral hops over the dumbbell. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Push ups, chest down, and then circuit now is complete. circuit nine, oh, snatches, 10 per arm, let's go. Okay, 10 on the left, and then 20 star jumps. Was 10, 20 star jumps, 30 bear crawl, 20 shoulder taps. Thirty bear crawl plank shoulder taps. Clean and press outs. One, two, three. You got it. Ten. Okay, 15 lateral hops over the dumbbell. Let's go. Fifteen push-ups, chest down, and class is over. Fifteen. right there what do you think you're doing stay tuned for our next video and click right here to subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on facebook instagram and tiktok